Everyone is always asking, how many cavities have you had? Do you have veneers? Show me your x-rays! Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here today to talk about my mouth and my teeth. For those of you who have been following along with my videos each week, thank you. And for those of you who are new here, also thank you for being here. I'm about to show you how. Even us dental professionals, we don't have perfect teeth, okay? So never feel stressed if you're someone who gets cavities or if you have gum disease or whatever your dental situation is, please let me remind you that we are all human. And oftentimes our anatomy and physiology, it all contributes to our dental health and our overall health issues, right? Oftentimes it's not your fault. So just keep in mind that us dental professionals can absolutely relate to a lot of the dental things you might be going through because lots of us had had our own fair share of cavities too, right? So let's look at my x-rays. These are my most recent bite wings. As you can see, I do not have wisdom teeth. I had my wisdom teeth, also known as third molars. I had them removed about seven years ago. So I've been without any wisdom for a while now. <laughs> yeah, I got them extracted. Anywho, as you can also see, I've had seven, let me repeat, seven cavities in my life, which have all been filled. Tooth number two, which is my upper right second molar. Tooth number 14, which is my upper left first molar. Tooth number 15, which is my upper left second molar. And all of the molars on the bottom. Tooth numbers 18, 19, 30, and 31. So yes, seven cavities, all filled. I'm actually considering to maybe replace the filling on number 19. There's no new cavity there or anything like that. It's just stain. That's why it looks like that. But it sometimes does give me sensitivity on the occlusal surface, the chewing surface. So we'll see. I might just do a fluoride treatment and see if that helps. I'd hate to open up a tooth that doesn't really need to be opened up because there's no decay, right? Why open up a can of worms if you don't have to? But it's always good to monitor and be aware of what's going on in your mouth. Usually your dentist or your dental hygienist will show you either photos or at least let you know if there's any areas of concern and will recommend what they think is best for your individual mouth. There's so many dental situations and scenarios. So this is my little thing right now. Pause for a quick dental announcement. If you aren't already subscribed to my newsletter, I am giving away a custom whitening tray system. All you have to do is sign up for my newsletter in the description box and then you're entered to win. That's it. And if you're already subscribed, check out today's newsletter for more details. Now back to the video, back to my teeth. So here's a PA of my upper anteriors, which is a periapical x-ray image of my top front teeth. By the way, I will link my understanding dental x-rays video and my dental terminology video if you'd like to learn more about how to decipher all this dental stuff on your x-rays. But yeah, this is my anterior PA. Thought I'd bring this up to show you that they are not veneers. They are my real teeth. Everyone is always saying that they think I have veneers, which is quite a compliment. Thank you. I think my lip just tends to go really high up when I I talk like this so my upper front teeth are super visible and prominent so maybe that's why plus all the lights I have in this room when I'm filming the lighting really helps them look brighter and whiter than they actually are but regardless if you remember anything from this video just remember that it's not the end of the world if you get a cavity or if you've had a lot of cavities I have very groovy teeth groovy man right <laughs> but really the occlusal chewing surfaces especially of my molars have always had very deep pits and fissures which makes it really hard to avoid food getting stuck in those areas and the food that tends to get stuck tends to cause cavities and if you don't brush it out right away after every single snack and every single drink you have throughout every single day that's when it's gonna happen right we're human we do the best we can we brush in the morning and we brush at night before bed and we floss and we go to the dentist for routine checkups and cleanings we do the best we can can you go even further and optimize your dental health even more by doing certain things throughout your day in addition to brushing and flossing of course and I will link that video of mine if you want to learn more but again just do the best you can. You're good. You're good. Also, fun fact, according to the CDC, about 90% of adults ages 20 and older have had at least one cavity in their life. It's like everyone, right? So just another reminder to never feel bad. If you have a cavity, get it filled. Don't put it off. The longer you put it off, the more likely it is to spread or get worse, which sometimes will bring you into root canal territory if the decay spreads to the nerve. I'm a big advocate for fixing things when they are small. I'll link a few of my cavity informational videos if you'd like to learn more, but for the purpose of this video, Again, I hope it was fun to see my teeth. It was quite fun for me to show them all to you. And I hope we all had fun. And that's all for today. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. And until next time, I'll see you on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. And don't forget about the newsletter giveaway. Peace, love, and my teeth. <laughs>